Hasbro has released some new Tonka toys. These are called Tonka Climb Overs. At the launch in January 2016, they had a couple big sets. They had four starter packs. One of them is called Croc Canyon. And they had some singles. In this video, let's take a look at this starter pack. The one with the fire truck. And they also have a red fire truck single, Fire Rescue. Let's take a look at those two. All four sets come with the vehicle like you've seen, but the parts inside are different. For the one that comes with the fire rescue truck, we get the vehicle and it's all straight pieces of track. No curves, whereas this one here, it has 490, it has 445 degree turns. You can see it's like a quarter turn. And then this one here, you have like a half turn. It's a 90, not a half, a 90 degree turn. This is like a full quarter turn. And this one, you'll need a couple of them in order to make a uh, full quarter turn. By the way, the singles are about $7 and the starter packs about $13. And if you think, wow, that's expensive. You know what? These have little motors. Look. Motorized four by four action. That's why these are going to be fun to drive around on that dirt track that I showed. Oh yeah, by the way, his name's Fire Rescue. This guy's name is Fire Stomper. What they do, when Tonka, when Hasbro releases the Tonka vehicles, when they give it a new color, they give it a new name. I don't know if you see my video on the Strike Force. I'll put a link in the description. But you see, here you have the Defender in tan or brown. On the back, there you see him, the Defender in tan. But when they made him green, they call him the Guardian. So just like these, they give different names for the different colors. Built to climb, motorized 4x4 action. How are they motorized? Well, they have two AAA batteries. And as you can tell, they have batteries ready to go. On the back, give you a peek over here. Here you have the click and climb track system. You have the different pieces. I'll be looking forward to opening the box. This one contains one climb over vehicle, we know, and eight straight tracks. Here's some of the other sets. Yeah, I showed you these. These are the bigger sets, and this one's a little starter set. I'll be doing videos on these, and I'll be putting them in the description, just like with this model right here. Uh, I have Strike Force in the description below if you want to click and check out those as well. Let's open them up. I already took the tape off of this one and got it off of the package. If you want, you can keep this for a little display. You just pop it on right there. And there's your little display if you'd like. Remember, this is fire rescue. I was wondering, what am I going to have to do? You know, it, it has a track on the back, right? What, we're going to have to sit there and hold this thing all the time, driving it on the track? Well, that's going to get old. Well, guess what? Before you start playing with it, you pop off the body. And it has a little clip. You see this clip? You want to take this clip off because this is just to test in the store. That's just for you to test, right? Take this off. Throw this away. Now you put it back on. And now it's going to work properly. Clip the back first. And then the front. Look how it keeps going. Oops. Stop. Stop. Let's clip the back first. Get the front. There we go, much better. Now, we start him up, he's ready to go. Come back. If you, how big are these things? You have a Monster Jam figure, figure, truck? Yeah, it's about that size. If you have a Hot Wheels car, uh, it's a lot bigger than a regular Hot Wheels model. I'm gonna use a knife to cut the tape. If you're not allowed to use a knife, get someone to help you or have someone help you figure out how to open the box. Now let's see what's in here. There's our track pieces. Anything else? Instructions. That's it. That's all that's in the box. Now I'll take off Mr. Fire Stomper. Bummer, dude. While Fire Rescue gets a nice little stand, if you want to take it out of the package and keep it for a stand, the Fire Stomper, this is the only little thing that was in there. I don't think you're going to want to keep it. Why? Why would you keep that? That's nice. Why didn't they do the same thing? 
Anyways, I already took out that little piece that I told you about. He should, he should go on his own. Come on. There he goes. But let's check out the bag of parts. Hey, stop. Now I can't get him to stop. Let's check out the bag of tracks. The track pieces. Let's see. Same. Looks the same. All the same. Let me see. And then let's check the designs to see. Yeah, it looks like the same. Same. Got the tread. It got a rock right there. Let's see. Rock right there. Rock right there. Two rocks. Oh, two, yeah, it is two rocks. Look all the same. Hmm. It would have been nice if they had a little bit of different uh, design. But just snap them together, and this is how you're going to make your road. Let me get a bunch of them put together for you. These pieces can be put together at different angles, so this way you can make bridges and stuff. And when you snap it together, you have different positions where it locks in place to where you can come down a hill or go over a hill. However, they're kind of tough to snap together. If you notice this one here, I have a gap. You really got to press hard to get these. To get this piece, this, is have, this has to come all the way. You can see I still have that gap. Some of these pieces are really, really hard. See, I can't even get it right. I can't get this piece. I can't get this piece to go through the hole there. There it goes. Really hard. Now I'm afraid to bend this down because if I bend it down, it's going to pop out of that hole. And then to put it back. Yeah, see, so some of them, if it's really hard, <laughs> like this one's hard, I'm gonna have this one. A, uh, I'll have this one be the top part to where you go over, and then another one I'll have to come down. I created my track. This one is just a one lift, and over here I have a bigger bridge. This one's big enough to hide twin mill, and over here I'll put the Baja truck. And let me see if that's big enough for Grave Digger. Back on in, Bubba. Oh, it's a little. It's gonna sit on him. Let me. There we go. Look, I changed the angle just a little bit right there to make this higher up. That'll work, but that'll be a steep drop. I, w I wonder how he's. I wonder how it's gonna do when it gets over here. Ready, set, go. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he flipped over. Try again. There he goes, right on his head. Hey, 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 hey! Come back. Now let's bring him back. I wonder if he's going to flip over. That's kind of steep. I'll start him right here just to, well, yeah, I can start him here. Let's see how he does. Oh. Oh. What's he doing? You roly-poly? Oh, it's too steep. Hmm. Let's make it a little different. Let's bring this up. Try to spread it out. Excuse me, Twin Mill, we're going to need you. We need to make this less of an angle. No, now it's less of an angle. Now he might do better. Let's see how he does. There he goes. Next. Easy, easy. That's what that noise was. Hey, he made it. Now let's test them on the rocks outside. These rocks are kind of big. Oh, he wants to come up. Look at him go. That was kind of fun testing him outside on the rocks. They were a little big for him, but he did pretty good. Sometimes he gets stuck, and I would just help him out. I look forward to trying those other sets. In the meantime, you guys have... Whoa, look who wins. You guys have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.